Now I'm trying to get this shit situated so you guys can actually see me. <laughs> peace, peace. And flowing with the way of the harmony, as always. Living another life I'm not what? <laughs> High heart frequency. Just vibing with the truth. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to just bring up something real quick. If you are feeling sociable, since we did uh, deal with this uh, full moon in Libra, by all means, just be sociable. Do something new. I mean, maybe you were a little bit reclusive or something during the winter, you know, in a hibernation type state. But now's the time to socialize. Now's the time to be innovative. Now, now's the time to, uh, you know, be a little bit more open. You know what I mean? But it, it's not. It's like our own balance point. It's not about being too open, but it's not about being too close either. It's about having that perfect balance. Be open. Be able to express yourself. Try new things. You know, uh, vibe with new people. Uh, create new friendships, new relationships. You know, whatever it be. As well as uh. You know, have your alone time as well, too. Like, you know, like I said, balance it out. But if you are feeling uh, like being social, get out and be sociable. Try something new. Support your artists. You know, go to a concert. Uh, go to a art walk. You know, whatever it is. Whatever you truly vibe with. You know, by, by all means, support your artist. And by supporting that artist that resonates with you, that's like, uh, it's not something that you're going to expect or expect to come back to you. But by doing, uh, by being authentically you, and being authentic with uh, yourself first and foremost, those vibes that you put out and you show that gratitude, that, that respect to someone else will always come back to you, if that makes sense. But it's, it's not like you're expecting it. Like It's not like, oh, I'm going to do this because I want this back in this amount of time. No, you're doing it because it's genuine, genuinely coming from your heart because it really resonates with you because you have that love and you're like, okay, I'm going to show this person some support because they deserve you know, this little bit, and, and I, and it's something fun, it's something new, you know what I mean, so be sociable, and socialize if it really resonates with you, and if you're really feeling it, and by all means, if you're not feeling uh, sociable, then by all means, take a step back, be a little bit reclusive, but have that moment of solitude, but you got to balance it out, you can't be one way or the other too much, you know what I mean, uh, I mean, like with everybody, it's kind of like a roller coaster, you're going to have your high days, you can have your low days, so to speak, right, you know, the days where you feel like, Invincible, you can have the days where you might feel a little bit tired or a little bit like you need to like slow down, you know, just, just do what you need to do and everything will naturally flow. You know what I mean? But that being said, too, uh, you know, as I'm doing this video, the, the moon is actually moving into Scorpio and Scorpio deals with kind of that uh, the depths of your ocean, you know, the uns that feminine energy that. Uh, divine feminine energy, that dark energy, and kind of like a shamanic type energy as well. So, and the and the moon is sleep here. So this is going to be dealing with a lot of sub subconscious energy. So you you can be it can be beneficial or non beneficial, but by all means, how you feel, go about it and flow through that. You know what I mean? So if you feel like being sociable, but the moon is in Scorpio, by all means, just go out and be sociable, but know your balance point. Know know that point where you can go to. Uh, to connect, but also know that point where you need to pull back. You know, set those clear boundaries, but uh, right in front too. Don't be like, be uh, what's it called? Not like manipulative, but like you're, you're hiding something. With the Scorpio energy, we're all gonna have a little bit more of a sense of like feeling the vibes, picking up on the vibes. And if you're an empath or somebody that's sensitive to the energy already, then it's gonna be amplified that much more. So when, so when something's not feeling right. Like when you, you can like sniff that shit out, you can like, like nobody has to say anything or even look at you. But if like, or even if they do and like they do it with a smile and it doesn't feel right, that by all means don't even fuck with that person, don't even fuck with that place, that energy, that thing, whatever it is. You know what I mean? But with that being said, we're all going to have that extra sensory perception to feel the vibe right now. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're feeling like, like doing, whatever feels right, whatever feels in tune with your energy, do it. No matter what, no matter what nobody says, just do it. You know what I mean? That being said, too, uh, remember to stay in balance. Remember to have your own, you know, little unique balance. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different. You know, I talk about balance a lot. Talk about harmony a lot. But you know, it's very important. But we can't sleep on it. We can't overlook it. But you know, sometimes you gotta have. Sometimes you gotta do new things to create a new experience. Sometimes you gotta get experience in some way, shape, or form. That doesn't mean you have to be victim to it. Because you, you create it. You're choosing to go do this. You know what I mean? And if something doesn't feel right, boom, you're gone. If it feels right, you're there. You know what I mean? Uh, 
basically that's all I got to say. Uh, honestly, I'm just waiting right now, so I can I can sit, I can talk forever, man. Uh, actually, I'm not even all that talking. I'm pretty quiet. <laughs> For real though, like I'm actually pretty quiet, and that's the thing too. Like in a way, if you think about it, that's how you know. Like, even without knowing your chart to the to the specific little everything, that's how you kind of know, like, what energy you carry in a way. Because certain type of, like, if you have a little bit more feminine energy, you might be a little bit more reserved, a little bit more quiet in certain areas of your life. If you have a little bit more masculine energies or certain placements, then you might be a little bit more uh, outgoing or expressive in your life. You know what I mean? Obviously, we're going to have a balance of energies. We have all the elements within in some way, shape, or form. Some of us more than others. Some of us are perfect balance. Some a little bit. You get it, I mean? But that's kind of a way to tell, too. Like, with just in your personality and within the way you uh, go about your life, you're going to have a little bit more of a fluctuation of leaning towards masculine or feminine. Or you might have a, a real uh, balance between the two. Like, we all have a balance between the two within us. But just as, just far, just as far as speaking along with the, uh, the elements... It can kind of shift and like, like it, it, it's, it's kind of like an imprint of how you're going to express or how you kind of have a certain personality. Because me, I tend to be, not to get too much into me or what's going on with me and all that, but just to share, like I tend to be a lot more reserved, but I'm not reserved. I'm not like shy. I'm just like, I'm more introverted. That's what I mean to say, like more introverted, but I can be extroverted real quick too. So it's like the introverted extrovert. We're kind of misunderstood. We're, we're we're thought of we're thought of as like quiet or shy or antisocial, but we're really not. We just we pick up on the vibes before we express something. If that makes sense, you know what I mean. But yeah, that's the way you kind of tell. Like introverted people tend to be have a introverted people tend to have a little bit more water or fire. But see, fire is kind of like the the yang aspect of the of the, uh, uh, like those are. Those are two in the same, like, for instance, damn, I don't want to make it too confusing, but water is the feminine, and then of that same energy, fire is the masculine, but fire has a lot, like, they both come from within, you know what I mean? Whereas air and earth are uh, both uh, external, but earth would be feminine, and air would be masculine, you know what I mean? So depending on how you have your alignments, the energies you naturally carry, and the way you choose to express it, the way you choose to go about your life, it's how it comes across and how it uh, eventually plays out. You know what I mean? So it's unique to each and every one of us. But that being said, too, my bad, I got distracted because there's people walking by and shit. <laughs> nah, but it's... <laughs> you gotta... Like, that's the thing, too. Like, you... Like, we aware of every little thing. Like, even if we look in this way, I can still see see you behind me. <laughs> I know that hella... And I'm not even looking in the rearview mirror. You know what I mean? But I just think it's funny because as somebody that's sensitive to energies, or you can call empath or like a psychic, whatever you want to try to put the little word box into. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, we ain't no boxes, though. <laughs> but you, you can just kind of like feel the vibe. Like, you, it's like that... What is it? A sixth sense? A seven, eight, ninth sense? How many senses we got, right? <laughs> but you can kind of like feel the energy of where somebody's at, where the vibe's at, you know, how the vibe is, you know what I mean? And whether or not it resonates with you, you know what I mean? So that's, so that's kind of like the sixth sense or something, I guess you could say. But not to get into that because there's a whole other video. But I just want to speak on that real quick, do a quick video since I'm here kicking it. Waiting for the homeboy to come through. But yeah. That's basically all I got to say. <laughs> My bad for the low lighting. I mean, I tried to light this shit up. I got all the lights on in the car. Still look kind of dark, but you can see me. All right. Oh, we can see the hat real nice. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. That's all I got to say. Yeah, and I, like I said, like before uh, in my previous video, as well as if you follow my Instagram, Instagram, uh, happy uh, New Year to everybody. We now in Aries season. We springing into action. You know, spring is finally here. It's, it's finally gonna start getting warm. You know what I mean? Happy Equinox. 
Hope everybody's uh, photo jump was smooth and harmonious. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, just overall, all, all we need to, all you need to know, and all we need to know, and know within our mind and our heart is just be authentically, just be authentic, express authentically, and just be your whole self. Like whether it's good or bad, whether people perceive it. Fuck what they perceive, just be you. You know what I mean? If somebody perceive it a wrong way, if somebody like perceive it in a fucked way, you know, that's something that they need to work through. That's something that they maybe are not ready for. You know what I mean? So, you know, we just got to be ourselves and just let things flow. Let things naturally flow. I mean, with that being said, too, like, it's like that, that it's not like a rule or like a universal rule. But everybody, everybody deserves respect. Everybody deserves a fair shake. You know what I mean? But if somebody is like constantly just striking out <laughs> all the time, right? Man, you got how many? How many you get? You get three strikes. If you get one, okay, okay, I, I forgive you. We cool. Little bump of the road, no problem. Two, oh shit, here we go. This motherfucker looking phony. Three, that motherfucking fake. Fuck that shit. You don't need that person in your life, right? And you know, not to say like you're judging somebody or nothing like that, but it's like to a certain point, you got to know. When to just absolutely let go and let that person develop that that part of their life on, on like on their self, you know what I mean? Because within the spiritual journey, it is kind of unique. It's our spiritual journey is unique to us, but we are we all share a certain aspect. That's why we can all feel, we can all connect in a certain way. We can all connect to truthful vibes, you know what I mean? But our spiritual journey is always unique to us. You know what I mean? We don't share a hundred percent the, uh, the, we don't share a hundred percent the experience of the journey or the perspective or whatever. You know what I mean? And that's the beautiful, the, that's the beautiful thing about it, especially when you connect with people that you really vibe with and you know, you, you can look at it from this way and maybe they have the same view, but they can bring this to the table while you can also bring this to the table and it, you know, it brings the whole thing to a fuller glass. You know what I mean? That being said, too, since we are on that subject of fuller glasses, <laughs> the full moon is the time when the glass is full. So make sure not to pressure yourself too much, not to not to uh, fill up your glass too much to where it overfills and where, and where it spills and then it creates a destructive force within your life. You know what I mean? It'll feel naturally as you put the work in through your inspired action from the new moon to the full moon. After it's full, let things come about. Let things be. Let things flow. You know, sip that cup. Let, let it... Let those vibe, let those beneficial things come in that are truthful. You know what I mean. If it's not, then release it. You know what I mean. After the moon starts to shed, after you know what is today, it's like the day, day or two after the full moon. So basically tonight or tomorrow during the day and, and so on forth and until the next new moon comes. That's the time to shed anything maybe or to let go of anything that wasn't beneficial. You know what I mean. Or anything that came up that maybe you need to work on. You know what I mean. Also pay attention to where uh, Libra is at at this time because that's the house that it's really amplifying and Libra is a sign of relationships, cardinal air. So make sure to communicate, be authentic, be innovative, be dependable, and just be your authentic self. Basically, that's all I got to say. Just a quick video. Peace, peace. Flowing with the way of the harmony, as always. Living and loving life from now what? <laughs> High heart frequency. Peace. <laughs>